like real life Carlton, we have been decimated with injuries this week. Welcome back to Selection Table. Really invoking the Carlton spirit, like Michael Voss in his weekly Wednesday meeting with Mr. Russell. I had last minute outs. I've lost Ian to man flu. I've lost Paolo to work. And I've lost Terry to being super famous. Uh, <laughs> but as always, like Nick Newman himself, I've got Lack Dog here helping me carry on the show. Mr. Lack Dog, how are thee, my sexy little man? Available, which is good, <laughs> which is better than most. Uh, no, mate, it's good. Seven wins in a row. I love the uh, I love the selection panel. We get to get to sit down, talk through the teams, make a lot of memes because our team's unbeatable. It's just good content. And quite frankly, if the other guys are too busy or too sick, well then I don't want them here. Pom. Next man up. Hey, and uh, tell you what, we're we're, we're kind of like the we're kind of like the hundred, the three hundred. We're just the last two defending, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're just going to have to find someone to kick down a well and say, this is Sparta. <laughs> the Thank sun's you, been Robbie. blacked out by footballs. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's been blacked out by Blake Akers' uh, wing kick. Um, thank you, Robbie, for $15. Um, just on obscure things. Now, I'm not one, and I'm not calling him out, and I want to specify this chat, right? Please. Heed these words. Do not give this guy any abuse, right? Any abuse. But I don't know, like, Doug, have you come across a guy called Damien Fasciani who did a video in his car on <laughs> Leave Nick Dacos alone? He went full <laughs> Britney Spears meme. Has anyone in chat seen that? Because I, I actually think we've broken Collingwood. <laughs> we've uh oh man I, I i don't specifically know the video you're talking about but i i know the individual and i know a lot of the <laughs> rhetoric i've been reading about collingwood uh, this week it's like they who did they lose to they lost to hawthorne and all they can do is talk about us mate we're the destroyers of worlds i'm loving every second of it uh, honestly it, it, it was if you haven't seen it <laughs> you need to go and see it. Like, like honestly, like the the way I describe it, right? The way I describe it is a good mate of mine, Richard Potter, right? In when we were 18, he broke up with his first girlfriend, right? And I was in the pub and he did, you know, that cry that some people do where he's making words, but it just comes out at like a, a C minor. Hmm. It was the video equivalent of that. Honestly, I, I, I'm not 100% sure if it's a meme. If it's legit, fair fucking play. Um, he does do. He does seem to do a lot of uh, car videos, this young gentleman. It's If you want to find it, go on my Twitter. I replied to it and dropped a meme on it. So that, that's, that's how I'll do it. But... I sidetrack. I just had to get it off my chest because it it was brought it was brought to my attention this afternoon. And honestly, um, yeah, I mean, if, if I wasn't if I wasn't in a public place, I probably would have touched myself to it. It was that good. This is a Carlton show, so we'll focus on us. We'll focus on the games ahead and the games that's just part. But geez, Collingwood for a team that's top of the ladder only lost what two games. They cannot handle the loss. They cannot handle the loss. Just say you played well and move on. Don't spend two weeks making memes. Uh, I've got to say, I'm with you, like dog. You know what I worry about is, and this is a credit to everyone in chat, right? And let dog himself. We lose regularly mm. for the last ten years, right? Fuck me. <laughs> they don't want to walk a mile in 2018 shoes of Carlton. I tell you, because 
I would have lost my mind in 2018 if this is how they fucking react to this. <laughs> Two losses on the trot, mate. They've got what 106,000 members or whatever made up number they put out. If they went through 2018, there'd be about four of them left. They'd all jump ship, <laughs> mate. Mate, every time I've given you guys a car video, it's been me singing or being really happy. Um, you know, you know why it has crossed my mind to actually do like a parody video of it. Hmm. Well, I don't, I don't know how it'll go down, but I'm having fun. But anyway, <laughs> we're talking about battering sides and the Voss train um, rolled into St Kilda uh, this week. Um, for a bit of banter, we decided to have a shit first half just to give, give a bit of start. hope. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Bit of hope. It's a bit like, you know, when your, your mother-in-law comes out to bat on Boxing Day, you give her a few throwdowns. And then the third ball hits a chin and sparks a clean out. And that's what we did. And this was the team that Voss went with. And as you can see now, Voss has kind of given up with the team selection. Taking the piss. Uh, Zach Fisher sent a half back in this one. He's picked the second smallest forward at centre half forward. You can see Voss is now, he, he, he can't give a fuck anymore. He's, he's like, doesn't matter anymore. We're winning, sir. Leg dog and chat, we're going to need you because we need an extra person to get the watch time up. Um, yes. <laughs> what did you think of this team? Obviously, I want to pick on Fisher and Dow, mm. two players that I remember I put Fisher in my team last week and I copped hella hate, right? Um, oh, yeah, abused the hell. Uh, did we end up, I'm just going to pull it up while you're doing it. Uh, did we end up having Fisher in our team last week? I reckon it I can't remember, must have been but close. Honestly, chat, you guys were so nasty to me. I actually thought about doing a car video saying, leave Tom alone. <laughs> leave Fisher alone. Uh, I'm just going to, I'll try and pull that up while we're talking. All right, I found the team from last week. Uh, we went with... Uh, I can't see in Crips, Chera Martin, Oe's Plowman. Oh no, that's from a couple of weeks ago. What a nightmare! Uh, all right, let's talk about this week's team. Fisher is an interesting one. He's obviously uh splits the fan base a fair bit, as does Dow. I think Dow was just out of the team for so long, people sort of started to feel sorry for him and kind of forgot about him. But when he was in the team for extended periods of time, he split the fan base the same way Fisher did. But Fisher and Dow both deserved to be in the team last week. There were spots available. Fisher was played well in the twos. He was the seventh-ranked player this week of, as for a defender, so he performed his role really well. Did I think he would play well enough? I thought he'd be the prime candidate, uh, prime sub candidate to come out of the game, and he was just too good. And so was Dow. Vossi put his hand up and said, "Yeah, we wanted to sub out Dow. He kicked that goal. We can't sub him out." So I, it's a credit to them. They've both got draft pedigree. The question on for us has always been development, Pom, and it feels like, dare I say it, the current crop of development coaches and staff seem to know what they're doing, which has not been the case for a long time for us. Could have been the greatest for Garzi ever. The, the club has just loaded us and brought us back. No, I agree with you. Everyone is going well, and... I agree with the lovely Jess. He was he was fantastic. And um, Gav, there was a few comments that he was on the Hong Kongs. Uh, I believe, <laughs> which I'm still laughing at. Just so you know, every so it often, I'm, <laughs> every so often, I'm sat at my desk and it comes into my head, and I just chuckle. Um, Brad Crouch, this is great. Bev, Bev has learnt the cheat code of me. A war reference. I am. <laughs> I'm all about it. Switzerland, he was very... Brad Crouch did become Switzerland. I actually thought Brad Crouch became, in the fourth quarter when we put down on him, Brad Crouch actually became Italy during the war. He was playing for the enemy, realised he was getting his ass kicked and defected to our side. Um, <laughs> so uh, there we are, niche reference. That'll split the room, being a cow and chat. Um, Fisher for the Norm Smith. He's got Norm Smith written all over him, hasn't he? When he performs like that, he's a he, he does like the limelight. Um, Jesse doesn't matter who comes in, um, mate. Spot on, and I agree with this one here. Leadership driven list. Um, I think it's not just the coaching staff. I've noticed a change 
in everyone. Do you know what I mean? Like, and what I'll tell you is obviously my role in development. One of the big things I talk about is there's loads of shit. If you ever want confidence, all these idiots on YouTube telling you how to deliver confident and they all tell you to change the way you speak. Right. So if you ever go to like a speech therapist or you go to any public speaking courses, they'll tell you to try and speak more poshly and clearly. Absolute bollocks. Right. And I actually noticed that with Crips last year that he developed this stutter because he's quite a pub country bumpkin. No disrespect. Hmm. I've noticed now he is using his normal phrases, his colloquialisms, but he's delivering it with confidence. And whoever's told him that at the club needs a pay rise because I felt a couple of years ago someone was trying to get inside his head, trying to make him more eloquent. But Cripsy's strength is not its not how you use your words, it's how you deliver them. And I, I heard Crips talk about Dow and I was thinking, that is a man, that is a leader. Do you know what I mean? That is a leader because he was delivering them words with conviction and concise. Oh, mate, it's and I think that's a rep- representative of how the the teams evolved over the last seven weeks and and maybe before that. Obviously, we're in a hole for those the last seven weeks, but it's not something that just happens overnight. Um, and I was just going through, I found the team from last week. We didn't know about the McGovern injury, so Fisher did not make the cut, but uh, oh, he, he'd he be stiff to miss out this week. He was in my team, though. He was in your team. Actually, I'm trying to think what we said Ian was on. I don't think he was Fisher. Didn't he? Um, he was on the Hong Kongs about something. <laughs> what? Did he do something bizarre, like play? I'm pulling up his team. Did he play uh, TDK at fullback? No, nah, TDK was in. He in Crips, Martin, Pitt, Net, Chera, Oes, out, Jason, Walsh, Ed, Kerno, Honey, Young. Is that right? No, that's from the week before. I can't see his team from last week. I'll find week. it. I'll find it. He was pure meme lording, though. That's all we do now. <laughs> well, Leg Dog, you went with your team here, right? And Leg Dog is a man of content, but this week. I am the man of content uh, yes. because I've done the controversial thing. But, like, dog, look at it, chat, get some questions in. Talk to me about what you did. Well, initially I went in unchanged and I thought that's going to be a bloody boring show. So I go, all right, let's go back to the drawing board. Who do we have coming in that's available that has been best 22? Jordan Boyd is that. I would argue he probably doesn't need, based on his body of work this year, to go back to the VFL and prove himself. So I need to find a spot for him. Drop Ed Kerno because I drop Ed Kerno every week, fully expecting to be the sub this week. That's fine. In the real team, I'm dropping him. Um, so basically, the only player who had a down week was Fogarty, and it's pretty rough given how well he has been playing. He wasn't amazing last week either, but he's still doing his job. Had f- like four tackles, four disposal, something like that. He's he's the obvious weak link to me. If you don't, if you're not bringing in a prime time Chera Walsh, uh, who else have we got out? McGovern, Harry Mackay. Like we have to start thinking about this side as we approach finals. As who's going to be the ones that come out? And I imagine at the moment Fogarty's one that might come out. Uh, Dow's one eventually that might come out. Cottrell might come out. Like, obviously, we all love these guys and they're all playing really well, but we've got four or five players we need to bring into the team. So, to answer the question, Fogarty's the easier for me. I was contemplating having, having him as the sub. I thought, what does that really achieve? They don't really like playing that type of player in the sub role. We'll bring in uh, Jack Carroll, who's been, who's been playing really well. He's versatile, he can do the Ed Kerno stuff. Uh, he's just younger. Um, and Fisher, and admittedly, I did this before I heard the stat that Fisher was the seventh-ranked defender for last week because I thought we could use him in that mid-forward rotation again. But given how well he did use it behind the ball, potentially uh, it makes Boyd superfluous. But for all, t- all intents and purposes, Fisher's versatile. Boyd is good enough to be in the team. And Fogarty, uh, some people are going to have to come out of this team. Well, I mean... 38 doesn't go into two, does it? Mm. As they say. Um, I don't know if that's the saying. I think I might have just made that up on the spot. Well, who have we got to come <laughs> back in? We got Chira, 
with for sure that are going to come back into this team. Chera, Mackay, McGovern, Sam Walsh, then question marks on Jack Silvani and Matt Kennedy. That's seven players. Five that for sure are in our best 22, two that are probably in our best 22. Where are you going to find the spots? And a, a lot of these guys are of a caliber where they're not going to be like competing in the VFL to get back into this team. They're going to come back into this team. So I'm having a look at it now, and, and uh, Fogarty's the one I chose. Mate, mate, yeah, you're answering it to me. To answer your question as well, last week um, versus whoever they are, St Kilda, he had one tackle inside 50, but 17 pressure acts was Fogarty. So someone in the chat, Steve, Stephen, I think it was, um, asked that. So as so- tell you what, I'll... I'll do even better than that, Stephen, right? Because do it. here we pride ourselves that we give you the full picture. We the don't full give you, picture. We don't give you half a picture. It was round 21 last week, wasn't it? Correct. I haven't just made yeah. that up. Okay, so as forwards go with pressure act numbers, um, he was second on the ground for pressure acts, equal with David Cunningham. Um, Butler was first. And for tackles inside 50, he was about tied second with about eight people. Um, yeah. So, again, strong forward pressures. Strong forward pressures, so you are right. Yeah. He was strong. But, obviously, I see what you're saying, that dog. I mean, the one question I've got with you, um, mm-hmm. as people ask the questions in, because I thought what we're going to do, because we're going to be a bit quicker this week, because we've only got my team, then we do the vote, we'll have a little game of doing the best 22 as a team. It's really hard. As a is team, this so best 22 if everyone's healthy? Yeah, everyone. Yeah, so it, yeah, it's that makes it well. really, really hard. <laughs> I thought it'd be a fun job. We are the selection. No, it's so team. fun. So, so I, I thought we'll all fall out and we'll leave the night hating each other. Um, so <laughs> Ethan's good. asked me if uh, he thought I was trading Mackay, Walsh, Cripps, Kerno. <laughs> uh, no, uh, that I was taking the piss. I know Ethan's also taking the piss, but. God, can we stop talking about the Harry Mackay stuff? I, I, I actually had an aneurysm when I saw Lek Dog had suggested <laughs> trading Kerno for Bance. Like, honestly, even though I knew it was a joke, I actually hated him for five seconds. Thank you, Robbie, for joining the crew. Much love. Welcome aboard. My question to you, Lek Dog. Um, yep. Jack, get some questions in for him and try and be imaginative with why Fogarty. That's you. <laughs> Don't ask him if he's on the Hong Kongs, but I will we'll laugh. <laughs> um, my question is obviously, they're bringing Oliver in, and you look at the players that Melbourne are going to probably jettison out. I see you've bring Boyd in, and you did mention that you didn't see Fisher was seventh ranked defender in the league last week. But yep. do you feel like you're a little bit light on mid rotations because they're probably going to have potentially an extra mid rotation? It's a good question. You've got Thank Hewitt, Doherty, Cripper as your main three. Dow as the fourth. You, you probably do want one more. In my head, that was going to be Fisher, given how effective he was in defence. Maybe not. But the thing I do like about... But Fogarty wasn't going to fill that role either, right? So are they going to keep Ed Kerno in the team? Is one of these injured boys going to pop up? I can't answer those questions. They they might even keep Ed Kerno in the team. Um, although I suspect Hewitt does more of that run with roll. Boyd, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. I like Boyd in to, to shut down because they've got a smaller forward line this week. We, lo- we know what Newman can do. You can put Newman on Cozzy. You can put Newman on Petrarca. Chincotta's played really well. I really, I don't know if it showed up on the stat sheet, but sheet, but I just thought he started a lot of what we were doing, and he takes on the corridor and takes on the dangerous kicks. So, yes, we're probably a little light for mid rotation, but I don't really know how to solve that. Other than maybe Acres last week did play a little bit more inside at times, which he he did previously at Fremantle, and it allowed Cottrell and Holl- Hollands to spend some time on the wing. I thought he looked good. It only happened a few times, but he was able to contest really well, and we saw him um, in a couple of big contests. So maybe he's the one that rotates through. Frio did that a lot with him last year. So I haven't really answered your question, Pom, because I don't really know the answer. 
if there's somebody um no i agree with that i think you answered it well i think you could be a politician because you negated that and said a lot of words but never covered the question <laughs> so, so i'm very proud of you like dog um, but no i mean i i get it um this is a good question like dog um steven who picks up kasaya pickett and who gets that meddlesome shit pasta making video <laughs> TikTok guy per tracker? I think I don't think it's one on one, but I, I reckon Saad goes with Cozzy. Uh, and I think you save previously I would have said Newman and Cozzy, but I want Newman, he's so strong at the moment. I want him running around with uh Petrarca when he's in the forward line. We've also got Chincotta. There's some suggestions here that maybe we drop a tall, one of the talls and oh sorry. Yeah, drop one of the tools to add in an extra rotation. I don't mind that, but uh, to answer your question, yeah, I, I think Sadi goes with Cozzy to start. Um, Newman goes to Petrarca. And I don't know, whoever the hell else is in Melbourne's team, we'll, we'll deal with that afterwards. Well, it should be interesting to see what they do. Um, because, I'm... I mean, Oliver's coming back in, so the rumours yeah. are it's going to be petty, petty out and Oliver, and they're going to cram the midfield. So... And he normally an dominates us, but he also hasn't played for about 12 weeks. So it's like, is he going to come in underdone or is he going to come in and do what he normally does to us, which is well, I mean, tear if, us apart? If, if Gibbs has got any sense, he does what upset him at the Brownlow a couple of years ago. Do you remember when one of the uh, people asked if his missus was actually his mum because she thought she looked old? <laughs> I'd just be dropping that, going like that. Oh, your mum seems really into it. Mrs. Oliver. It's good. All right. Easy. Um, Ethan asks, how important is the rug battle? Is it important not to get smashed rather than win outright? I think that's a good question from Ethan. Well, I think they've said while we've been on air or just before we went on air that Grundy's going to play. Um, so sounds like he wants to try out for for the Blues because um, he'll be at the club next week. Uh, I am just talking uh, rubbish. I'd like him to be at the club. If they're going to play him as that forward ruck pinch hitting thing. I mean, it gives them so much versatility right in the ruck. So at that point, it's about Pido breaking even and you basically run Gorn and Pido together and then TDK and Grundy together, I think is how you would do it because Gorn is a big beast and he is way better and more athletic than Pido. But equally, Grundy's still... Oh, he hasn't been able to show it, but if you if you let him off the the chain, he is still a dominant ruckman. So you probably need TDK to try and counter him. It's going to be interesting. I think they're sacrificing a bit up forward by playing Grundy, but yeah, you got to be switched on in the middle. Mate, I agree. I, I I think it's all about just winning the contest. Do you know what I mean winning the contest? I think for me, Pitonet proves you look at the hitouts to advantage. He won count and was statistically better this week when TDK was in the ruck. Than when Pitt when that was in there. So for me, I just feel like Carlton have just got to break even. Do you know what I mean? Whip and shark the opposition's rook. Mm. And there's not much rotation at Melbourne in the rook. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah. Gone has been pretty much doing it 24-7. So this is my team. There's a few shocks here. All right. So out comes Marchbank, out comes Pitt and Ett, and out comes. Edward Kerner. Reason being, what we've just discussed, I've brought Young in. So I, I'm i not a fan of Young. If that would be JSOS, if JSOS wasn't a bad knee, he would be in. But my thinking here is that Pitonet, as much as I love him, did fuck all last week around the ground. And Young has actually got a priority job if you take March Bank out. So Carlton's preferred method is three tolls. Right, Marchbank Kemp Weeter in last week, McGovern Weeter in Kemp in our winning streak, apart from when Marchbank came in the week before. So it keeps the dimensions the same, but Young can just be a body versus gone, just be a body allowing TDK to take him around the ground. Walsh in, there is no way Walsh isn't ready for this week. I disagree wholeheartedly of holding him back, right? Holding him back because it is heavily documented he has been training. There is top four on the line. And I think if Carlton go in with the logic of losing a game, but making the eight, 
that's when the wheels fall off, right? Mm. It should be we are playing to win. My theory is Boyd as the sub, you limit Walsh's minutes, right? A, qu- a half from Walsh could get count and 20 up. You flip the switch, you heavily rotate Fogarty, you heavily rotate Dow, Fisher, all them players, right? But he isn't going to be playing VFL in real life. Let's spring the surprise, right? They're going to bring in Oliver. He's going to be half cooped. Worse injury than Walsh. A week earlier than estimated last week. I think he'll be totally fine. Um, And yeah, the young Pitonet thing, I think you've just got to go with our strength, right? So Pitonet's just going to be stood there. It's not great. I don't like it. Right, but who else can I bring in? And Walsh makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Marchbank to me, I, would he be worse than Young? Right, last week I not been nasty to Marchbank. He wasn't great. Right, I didn't love his game. And and the forwards, Tom McDonald's passing a fitness test tomorrow to make the team. Right, their forward line's pish anyway. So all Young's got to do is take a man. He's probably going to be taking someone that hasn't seen grass for two weeks. So, well, he, 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 probably, he, he might just sit on Grundy, and then as soon as Grundy runs into the ruck, he just runs with him. That might be his job, just follow Grundy around all day. Mate, mate, that's my thing. And I think this is, to answer your question, Ethan, which links into what Dog says, what I feel is the strength that TDK has versus gone is around the ground, right? Yeah. He He's not going to beat him in the ruck. But then again, Pitonet's just going to beat, he's just going to maybe beat Max Gorn in the rook. Let's say he does. But Max Gorn's going to kill him around the ground. Young's got more chance when he slides forward of beating Gorn than Pitonet does. So it negates that, and that's going to happen a lot. So for me, Marchbank, as harsh as it is, go back to the VFL, find your feet a little bit. Young comes in, stopping roll. Gives TDK the chance to float around the ground. And I feel that that is strong enough to beat them because I feel like it's better than last week, more versatile than two weeks ago. I feel like that's closer to our best side than with Pitonet in it. Maybe I'm harsh. No, you're not because I'm with you. I, I love Pitto, but... I agree. Absolutely. Like in an ideal situation, I've said this before, we just have another ruck forward that can switch out with TDK. I, I've come around on it quite a lot, particularly given Pito just doesn't seem to be able to get fully fit or fully healthy. So I've actually come around on the idea of TDK. He, he doesn't necessarily have to be a ruckman first, but having another versatile player in the team and maximizing our flexibility which you can't do currently with Pitto. Um, and you can't do, I don't think, against a team. There's not many players in the league, Bomb, that one player makes a difference on game day and Gorn's up there for players that do make a difference. So having Pitto in just to try and negate him probably doesn't feel like the smartest call. Having a young in, and I'm not a massive uh, young fan, Um I think he's got potential, but I'm not massive on him. But he does provide the flexibility that we would normally be looking to a JSOS for. It's just in a different part of the ground. I do like players that can contribute in multiple multiple areas. Uh, Pito has the. There will be matchups where Pito, and you can say this about anyone, Andrew Phillips. Like, there's matchups where he can come in and do his thing and dominate, and that's all he needs to do. I don't think this is one of those ones. Uh, Take all I've just said, put that in a bubble. I think Carlton are going to play Pito and TDK, and I think they're going to play them every single game, both are available. So uh, it is yeah. an interesting discussion, though. And I think when we do our best 22, Pom, I think it's that's going to be a real pivotal part. No, mate, I agree with you. I mean, to answer this, Sam Durden did rook, um, not last week because they had the buy, because the AFL just make up fucking buys whenever they want. Um, biggest scam in the world, that 10-team final, by the way, because the AFL, I I said it in my VFL preview, where the fuck has these extra buys come from? Mm -hmm. And the fact that they're trying to sell you, we only agreed on the 10-team thing four weeks ago, it's a complete lie, because why was the the extra buys mysteriously added? Gil, I'm on to you, brother. But Durden did rot, so I mean, there is an argument there that he maybe could do. 
Um, my thinking purely as we've got Andrew McLaughlin with a 20 CHF 20 super sticker. What currency is CHF? Send a half forward. Oh, 20 Charlie Kernos. Lovely. Yeah. Um, but what I will say is I agree with you, Jason. I think March he is. And I know Peter... Swiss Frank. Oh, okay. Hey, that's clever. From the Swiss... Ah, oh, hey, you are smarter than most. Jason, I agree with you. Pitts did do that. But I will say this, right? To answer your question and Azza's, I think he can match it body-wise. But my issue is the strength is what he can do around the ground, which Max Gorn does, right? So Max Gorn is always beating Pitternet around the ground, right? In a, in, Unless there is a sniper in row Z at the <laughs> ground who kneecaps Gorn, right? As much as I love Pitter, he loses that battle. So my theory is Young has a chance one-on-one -on -one in the back half being a defender, first and foremost. He did it last year. Weetering's doing the hard bit. That would then allow Weetering to go one-on-one -on -one with Gorn and Young take the hack that is Tom McDonald when they go back. But also TDK can slide forward. Do you know what I mean? TDK can slide forward and around the ground and do all that hard work. So I just feel like that's it. In an ideal world, it would be sausage, but I don't think he's fit. So, unfortunately... Yeah, I can't think of who the perfect player would be for us, but it's and it's not Rory Lobb, but it's in that Rory Lobb mold of tall forward can also ruck to just sort of rotate with TDK. But obviously, we don't have that player. Maybe it'll be Harry Lemmy. Maybe it'll be Hudson O'Keefe. But right now, we just don't have that player. Maybe it's you and me. Hey, let's uh, let's pick this team, Pom. Let's pick the team. All right chat so what we're going to do is me and that <laughs> dog will do one each then we'll agree on a half we'll, we'll split one between us <laughs> kinky and uh then what we will do is you guys get your usual three well you get you get three you get a bonus chat you get three this week so how's that but, stuff let dog talk to me malcolm which batman <laughs> are you saving I'm just, I'm really enjoying all of Bev Tones, Hong Kong's, Kim Bong Il's, <laughs> Xi Jing Pong's. This is, this is great <laughs> stuff. Um, uh, backline, backline. Who am I going to save? Who am I going to save? I'm going to save Nick Newman. Nick Newman, mate. You can't, I can't blame you. I'll tell you what, I'm just trying to find. Lucky Jack, your wildcard privilege has been revo revoked, mate. You're the reason they don't exist, that it doesn't exist anymore. Newman, backline. I will take um, Weeter in. And who yep. is our agreement, Let Dog? I think we both love like a Brody Kemp. Or an Adam Sard or a Pom Cotter, any of those um, would make me happy. I think it'd be rude not to have Pom Cotter. Pom Cotter, it is. Right. So that means we... they can choose between what? Kemp, Marchbank, Sard, Boyd, Young, Fisher. I'm sure there's some more, but you know. They're the they're the bulk of the uh, the defenders. Hey, they are indeed. Tell you what, I'll update this for you. So we are in. He's gone. King Cotter's gone, and Newman. Uh, Cut. Kemp Sard Fisher. Kemp Sard 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 Kemp Sard. There's a lot of Sards, and a lot of Kemp's already. So Kemp Sard. So Kemp's and Sards, and it looks like Boyd, doesn't it? Yeah, Boyd looks like he might have snuck in. Okay, so Saad, Kemp, I've to that. This is what annoys me, right, chat, that I've got What's like some kind of you? weird... I've got some kind of like Boyd, OCD sir. of it. Mr. UK4099, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you very much. Good day to you, my friend. So we are Super on star. to the middle. So let dog, I will update this for you. We've lost Kemp. Fantastic. We haven't lost him. Kemp, Boyd. He comes in and Mr. Start, starting a little bit smaller in defense this week, which I don't mind, 
I don't mind. I like it. So midfield. midfield is a threat, Doug. I'm going to, just because I absolutely want him locked in as a pure mid, I'm picking Sam Doherty. Ooh, darling. To be fair, I like doing that when we do this. Just so I feel yeah. like I'm involved. Oh, Doherty yeah. wrong. What is Pong doing? Uh, who do I want in the midfield? Who do I like? You, you know what I'm going to do? You could pick you know what I'm whoever. Do? You know what I'm going to do? Go on. Dow in. He gets another game. So we've lost Doc. I need to stop saying that. Doc and Dow <laughs> are in the team, right? So we've got to agree on one. Shall we agree on we need a captain? I think we need a captain. We'll give the so wingman we'll the Charlie wrapman Kernel to the, the uh, chat. We'll pull a Charlie Colonel on the world then. Oh, fuck. Can you? <laughs> one day it's going to happen, mate. Can you imagine? Oh. Um, One day okay, we'll show so- up. It'll be we'll be down three quarter time. Opening bounce of the fourth. Charlie Kerno in the centre. <sighs> Welcome, Christian. So, chat. I need three names from you, and your three names for the midfield, right? So we've taken Crips. We've taken. Um, I can't remember. Docker. Docker. We've taken Dow. All right. So I've done it. So you've got Acres, Charlie Kerno, Carroll, Cottrell, Cunningham, Fisher. Fogarty, Hewitt, Hollands, Marchbank, that would be entertaining. Martin, <laughs> Motlop, Owies, Pitonet, TDK, Walsh, and Young. And just a caveat, we do need a Ruckman. Mm, we would like Hot. a Ruckman, yeah. Oh, chat. Hewitt, Acres, TDK, Acres, Ollie, TDK, Acres, TDK, George. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is tight. Like I a think... tiger? Acres is definitely Twit. in, though, because he's in every one. Yes, he is. So we just got to work out which. It, it looks, looks like, like it's it well. looks like it's TDK and Hollands. I think. I think. Ooh, they, yes, Hewitt, Hewitt and Hewitt and Hollands oh, are Hewitt. pretty close. That Hewitt. There's been a few Hewitts. Yeah. Hewitt. Oh, Hewitt. I think that's Hewitt. Hewitt. So we're gonna run uh, someone on the wing. <laughs> yeah, we have to move Docky on the wing. Yeah, I think so. Um, All right. I'm just trying to work it out, and I was like, if I release anything with with Dow on the wing after criticizing oh, people, who's mate. Like, why can't Dow play on the wing? I, I I won't live to see another day. I don't I don't mind the idea of Dow at the starting center bounce. Like I just something about it. So where's Ho- so we got rid of Acres? Yeah. So Holland's Holland? all. I'm assuming the chat is going to get Hollands on the bench, I reckon. <laughs> right, okay. Shout so out to now, Hollands for the rising star. He did indeed. Thank you very much, Andy Craker. This is the most donations we've ever had in one stream, so maybe Wait. we could sack the others. I think we need to. <laughs> yeah, I just, me and Let Dog, record number of watchers, and me and Let Dog, thank you. Cripper Doc and Cottrell, tell you what, you know what, because he's paid for it, I'm going to put Cottrell at half forward. So that me and Let Dog won't negotiate one. Yep, we, we agree on that. Okay, C- can we do a poll? I don't know. You know what? I'll look into it. There is a way. I think I have to open polls on my YouTube. Yeah, so I think I it has to be it. done through YouTube. Um, So I will do it. But forward, who are you having? Um, okay, forward line. Who have we? Who, so we've already got Cottrell at half forward, correct? Can't, I can't look past Jack Martin. I can't look past him. Jack Martin. Does right. things how to do me, you, that man. How do you create a poll in YouTube? I don't know. I have no idea. Your face has disappeared on my screen. So, Has it? Yep. Could just be me. Da, da, da. <laughs> Odin, Odin said, how much for player? <laughs> $200. And I'll yes. play him on the ball. <laughs> Um, so Martin is in. Um, I'm gonna save as I always do. C. Kerner. Um, we've got Cottrell as our agreement. So, chat, you've got three people. So, we've got Cottrell in, Charlie Kerner is in, and Jackie Martin is in. So, we need one more, we need three more forwards from you, chat. We do. Um, we need Carol Cunningham. Tell you what, let's see if I can do this because someone's just said you can do it by doing that. Yeah, I'll, I'll back you in. 
I'm going to see if you can do it. But just read them out, that dog, while I read. Uh, so we can. Uh, what am I reading out? Who's available? Carol oh, we are. Cunningham, oh, oh. Fisher, Fogarty, Hollands, Marchbank, Motlop, Owies, Pitnet, Walsh, Young, uh, Cuns, Fog, Mots, Owies, Mots, Cuns. Uh, oh, Motlop, Owies, Cunningham. Motlop, Owies, Cunningham. Owies, Fog, Cunners. Okay, I need to preset this up before the stream, but now I know how to do it, I can preset that up so they come oh, out. That's so beautiful. We'll, we'll do that next time. It's only time, taken so. us two years, Pom. It's all good. <laughs> so, Let Dog, what were the names? Tell me. I'll let you be the chief judge. Uh, so, Molop and Oes, I think, are definitely in. And there's a lot of Cunners as well. Yeah, there's more Cunners than, than Fogs. So, yeah. Okay, Cunners, so we're gonna have Motlops, Oes. Cunningham. Cunningham. Tells me every time we do this as well, because Cunningham's name is spelt atrociously in real life. Cunningham. Yeah, well, he, mate, he spells it wrong. Oh, does he? One in. Always. Okay, so now let dog. We'll do one each, and we'll let you guys do two in a sub. So, Carol Fisher, Fogarty, Hollands, Marchbank, Pitternet, Walsh, Young. Who are you having on that four interchange? What one, Black Dog? Uh, I am going to have Hollands. I'll go Fisher so we don't lose him. Yep. Hollands and Fisher. Okay, so chat, there's your four. Carol, so... Fogarty, Marchbank, Pitternet, Walsh, Young. Three names. One player Two is coming names. out of the team from last week, no matter what. Yeah, so one. So th th I need two bench players, one sub from Carol Fogarty, Marchbank, Pitonet, Walsh, and Young. I'm not trying to sway anyone. We currently don't have a backup Ruckman against a team that has two All Australian Ruckmans, and we only have two Talls in defense. I'm not trying to sway the jury. I'm just merely noting it. So we've got some big names here. Walsh, Hollands, Fisher. So Walsh and Fisher, that is. Walsh, isn't Pitto, it? Walsh, Pitt, March, Sub, Walsh, Pitt, Pitto, Walsh, Pitto, Walsh, Fog. I look like Walsh fog. then. I think it's going to be Walsh and Pitto with Fog as. We'll have to do the sub separate, I think. It's too many. It's too hard. So Walsh is definitely in. Walsh, Fog. Fog. It's, yeah, there's a. I, I actually think I actually think Fog's in. It's pretty tight, yeah. With Pit and well, a sub. Pitto a sub. Jeez, that's gonna be awful. <laughs> but, no, yeah. I actually like that because I actually like that, and I'll tell you for why. Tell me for why. Well, you could just go with the old classic, couldn't you? Right? Think about it, chat. You could go, try and just go one-on-one -on -one with the team. And then if it's not working, you have the worst player come out for the extra Ruckman. And by that stage, Gorn has spent half a quarter trying to negate PDK. Suddenly a big brute comes in. Mm. Yeah. Why not? So by Let's my calculations, if we do that, that means Walsh and Boyd are in. Yes, and Pitto and and, and Pitnet sub, oh, which, Pitnet sub. So that means Marchbank oh, is out, and, and Marchbank. Who, yeah. who else is out? No, no it's Marchbank and Pitto. Marchbank and Pitto, and Walsh. Yeah, but Walsh Walsh comes in for Marchbank, and uh, Boyd comes in for Pitto. Pitto goes to sub. So that's the uh, uh, Richard Brownlow says no way Grundy. Uh, they've already confirmed Grundy's playing. Um, ben Brown and Tom Petty. Tom Petty? Harrison Petty. Tom Petty, I think, was a musician. Harrison Tom Petty. Petty uh, yeah, he's on that. Just a good girl. She loves her horses. 
I'm free. I'm it's just a bit, of a bit of a chaotic team, but like we said, we've got to make some decisions in this in this side. You know? All right, Dad. Well, what I'm doing is I'm just downloading the team, and I'll show you. Now I'm free falling. Free falling. Chat, you've got a song stuck in my head. Uh, right, let's have a look. So this is what you've done. Or what we've done. And tell you what, we've got a good 15 minutes where we can do this best 23. All right, chat? So Beautiful. we'll do that together. But let's just have a quick look at it. Hey, our chat, that's what we've done. So... You're right, Andy. How are you doing? Are we going to tune some Sheilas as well? I think you missed <laughs> that from your banter. Um, but that's the that's the team. Um, Chincotta, Weetering, Boyd, Sard, Kent, Newman, Acres, Crips, Doc, Connors, Kerno, Cottrell, Motlop, Martin, Owies, TDK, Hewitt and Dow, Ollens, Fisher, Walsh, Fogg, Sub, Pena. Would that be the first time a sub has ever been a rook? I can probably find the answer to that. I'm going to say, I'm going to say yeah. yes. But I With think. No reason to know. I actually think that that actually is a logical thing because I think then you've got that wonderful option that you drop a small and bring Pitonet on. And I actually think that that is a, a t I actually think we've accidentally found the tactical cheat code. We might have cracked it. Oh, ah, yes, or... soft mod. True. True. If we're calling him a Ruckman, true. Lewis Young, I think, was sub once, wasn't he? Yeah, we, hey, hey, uh, we won't say anything to Jazz, Zenab. Yeah, don't tag her in the, uh, don't tag her in the uh, comments. Hey, right, Pom let's... Cotter, he, he always gets it. So what I'll do is... Um, Best 22 maker. It's on that stupid Zero Hanger website. Sorry, Zero Hanger, if you're watching. That, there goes <laughs> any sponsorship revenue. Yeah, and I just happen to be good friends with the people who run it, mate. So uh, I'll be sending this to them. <laughs> just tell them Pom didn't mean it. Yeah, just joking. I, Pom doesn't care. <laughs> right, present. Make sure I give you the right screen because you don't want to. You don't want to see what's going on in the other screen. That dog, I'm a good boy, mate. <laughs> That's what the work computer's for. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Uh, right. There uh, we are. That should. All right. Can you I'm see that? Sure. Uh, I can see us. Uh, now I can see. Yep. 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 It's a bit small, but no stress. Wait. Oh. Oh. Is that big enough like that? Uh, it's pretty hard to read, I would say, but we, we'll okay, vibe well, it out. We'll read it out. We'll read it out with you. Okay, right. Chat, we have got our fullback. Are we all in agreement that this has to be? Jakob Vitoning. Can you zoom in a little bit at all? Is that getting bigger? Oh, yeah. That's, that's better. That's better. Okay, right. All so right. fullback. Fullback. I can't see chat, so let Doug, you're going to have to be the guy when I'm doing this. Are we all agreed Wheatering is our best fullback? This is everyone fit, chat. Everyone fit. No one injured. Mate, but Wheatering I mean, fullback. It's isn't he? Jacob Wheatering. Everyone agrees. Okay. Right. <laughs> one person has commented, but everyone agrees. What the uh, hell happened there? I don't know. It's It's died. Maybe the zoom in was not encouraged. All right. Who, oh. who runs this thing? Thank God, you just go like this. Oh, I've got a mate who runs it. You, you yeah. want to get him on the blower? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just, I'm not confident. You want to get him on the it's blower gonna... on the live? Okay, so yeah. back pockets chat. Uh, Josh, we have not forgotten about Zach Williams, mate. Uh, he's yeah, commented yeah. Zach Williams a hundred times. I, I agree, Zach Williams. Chat, would you agree Zach Williams would definitely be one of them back pockets fit? Zach Williams is not not in this team. What is chat saying? Uh, well, I just see Josh spamming Williams and people spamming Plowman. Um, 
Williams. Jay, Jay Mirabello seems to always have a good call. So he's saying Williams. Odin saying Boyd. Sard and Williams. Sard and Williams. Um, yeah, Williams if fit. Sard and Williams. Yeah, I think it's Williams. William and Newman as well. Yeah, would we? So, so we are going to bring Williams in. Okay. Well, I think I think we have to. The end. So this one, I'm guessing we'd all say Newman. You have to, right? I suppose you could go. Half Newman's back. names come up a couple of times. Halfback I mean, blank suppose... says Josh for Newman's for Newman. Okay, let's. We'll just temporarily. Would you say Chincott has done enough to keep his place with Williams? Because my thinking when I did this earlier is I actually class Doc as a midfielder now. Yeah, Doc's a midfielder for sure. So I still would don't, you say Jim Cotter and Williams or Boyd and Williams? Oh, gee whiz, that's tough. Or Cowan and um, Williams? I don't think Cowan yet. I don't think Cowan yet. We've got to fit Kemp into this team. Oh, you've got him in. I'm a sh- So we're basically, I'm assuming Mitch McGovern is probably the centre-half back. People are saying Chincotta. There's Boyd and Chincotta's in there. I'm just filtering by position because I agree. Doc's a midfielder for us now. Uh, he will retire as a defender, but right now he's a uh, midfielder. So Marchbank okay, so- probably not. Cowan probably not. Boyd. I think we're choosing between. Oh, there's also Sard, mate. So, th- so obviously this would be. You you would say if based on how we played this year, that was how it would look. Kemp yeah. in the intercept position, McGovern in the central position, Sad Newman, Williams, Kemp, Wheatering. And then potentially, like we can worry about the bench later, but you're potentially looking at Boyd or or Chincotta for that bench spot. For that would, uh, yeah, rotation. Boyd or Chinks there. Be interesting. We'll come round to that. So chat, are we happy with that? We're gonna have to be. Uh, I think the wing line, the center line, I think that's easy for us, Bomb. I think that's easy for us. Yeah, why, why does this keep getting bigger? This I header? don't know. don't know. Honestly, whoever invented this website is actually the worst human being in the world. <laughs> Honestly, oh, if, if you are watching this, whoever's made this, worst bloody thing I've ever seen. Like, absolutely <laughs> great. Honestly, absolutely appalling. I'll McGovern send the feedback. Starred, who I'm was going the other? to um I'm I'm gonna keep it up on my screen as well. So Newman, Saad, Williams. And I'm guessing we all agree Akers and Hollands and Cripps, that center line hasn't changed all year. I think it has to be. Okay, right. So Kim. So your forward line of I'm guessing H and Charlie, are we all agreed? Uh, forward line, everyone. Everyone's just trolling us, I think, for the most part. Yeah, everyone's agreeing. Yeah, those two are in. Okay, so we got that. What I'll do is I'll zoom it in when we finished it. Yep. Okay, so now this, I think this is an interesting discussion. Is it Martin and Connors? Have they done enough to justify the faith? Uh, Martin, definitely. Cunners, I think so. I'm happy to hear the chat. Uh, there's a lot of there's a Martins and Cunners are getting mixed in there. I think we got to, like, we got to, I think we still need to focus on playing players at least in positions they're good at. So to me, a Walsh is a midfielder, not a wingman. He can rotate on the wing, but if we're like trying to put together our best best team on paper. Because you know this is I'm controversial, right? You you know who the closest player is to Cottrell is Bins. From his juniors, yeah. he was almost identical in heat map as well to how Vossi's playing him now. So I think that's one that will be really interesting next year if because Cottrell's like the third winger in this side. Looks like Martin Owies and Cottrell. Uh, uh, sorry, Martin Owies and Cunningham are, are leading the uh, the chat vote. I'm based on my numbers. No, I I agree with it. So I mean, we've got Martin, Cunners, and Owies in a pocket. 
And I'm guessing Motlop would be the other one, would I be correct? Or are you guys... Because you see, my thinking and chat, you are very similar to my team when I did this, right? My difference was I actually had Motlop and Durden because I actually think Durden, with a preseason and another year of strength and conditioning, he will actually supersede. Now Motlop's not playing that stupid defensive role. He'll do it. Yeah. And the other one we haven't talked about is JSOS, right? But let, let's do the ruck line first. Let's let's focus on the interchange. So Okay, so I'm guessing he uh are we saying TDK? Are we all agreed on that? I think everyone's I mean And I'm guessing I'm it's Chera it's Chera and I'm guessing Walsh, isn't it? Yeah, I think it has to be. Chew it but on the I'm pie. happy for happy for chat to say which means Doc isn't in the starting team. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, I'd imagine it looks like that, doesn't it? Chera, Walsh, and Doc as the mid. Yeah, extra I, I think for sure. And then you just go through the names that we haven't picked, which which is the best way to do it, I think. So Domaku, he's not in. Bins, I agree with you, but let's let's take him out for the moment. He hasn't played a game. Boyd, Boyd Carroll, Boyd and Chincotta. Think, There's pro probably room for I one. Think, I know this sounds harsh. I don't think Boyd is best 22 because he's basically an Audi. He's, he's Audi, Zach Williams. Yeah. Yeah, we've forgotten about Hewitt and Kennedy as well. No, because he's in the team, though. Hewitt would be in. But I don't think Kennedy is in. Right? I don't think Kennedy's in as well. Doherty is there now. He's better defensively than Kennedy. Hewitt is, is, is better as a combo than Crips throughout it. And he's probably ahead of Dow. Um, yeah. So I think Hewitt's in. And then I think, I, I agree with Rowan here, I think Saucy's in. But I would, and I agree with Last Jedi, Lucky Jedi, how hard is this, right? Because... Yeah, it's great. Voss, Voss has said, under no circums, no, no terms, right, that he's playing two Ruckman or two people that can Ruck, which means Jesus Young or Pittenet have to be in the side. Yeah, I think it's Jesus and Hewitt on the bench with Doc. I really do. And then you've got one spot plus a sub. Domaku, Bins, Boyd, Carroll, Chincotta, Cottrell, Cowan, uh, Ed Kerner, he won't, he's not in the best 22, Paddy Dow, Corey Durden, Sam Durden, Zach Fisher, Fogarty, Honey, Matt Kennedy, Murkov, O'Brien, O'Keefe, Philp, Plowman, Pitnet. This is tough, man. Well, this goes back, if those who are in chat who watched my first video at the start of the year of Best 23, as Jeffrey McKinney, thank you very much. Member for two months, legend. Um, if you go back to that video, I said it's so important we find players that can rotate. So yeah. I'm going to propose this. Doc, halfback and midfield, right? Yes. Or wing and hope, midfield. Or... And that's what Voss said he hoped Zach Williams yeah. could be, right? But I think Doc has got ahead of him and Williams will just play the simple Boyd role, right? And we Which know then... Walsh and Cherry can do it as well. And then Jack Silvani is also a forward and can rook. So that's seven forwards. That's seven backmen with Doc and seven mids, which then makes this one here anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like anything in the terms of it could be horses for courses. I would say at this point here, this is why I mentioned Bins earlier. I think this could be Bins or Cottrell or a Chincotta if you're playing a side that you want more mid rotation yeah. in. So Cottrell goes, Sincotta goes there and the boys come in. Yeah, it's not even mentioning guys like. Fisher and Dow and Kennedy, who I, I think are pro probably not best 22 based on what we've already put together. Well, I mean, I think... to me, looking at how Voss likes to play it, right, I'd say that's always our Durden, right? Yep. I think we yep. can all agree. That will be basically a shootout for pre-season. Who, yeah, whoever's, whoever's in better form. I'd say that there, the, the centre line's locked. Right? Yep. The only thing I could see changing 
is this, right? That becomes, where is he? Oh, there, right. So that becomes, yeah, if they go one there. less. Right, so that becomes Chincotta, Williams, Wheater in Kent, Saad, Newman, and we try and mirror Melbourne, which would then open that up. And then JSOS, let's just say this, TDK played better behind the ball two weeks ago when mm. him and when him and JSOS had that stint, not as a defender full time, but just protecting the smallers. And then this here could be, you know, someone exciting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like who is like, who is it? <laughs> no, but here, let's just say we'll put we'll throw a name in, but say that's Foggy, right? Say yeah. Cal and go, right, let's go with small forwards to mirror the tolls. Foggy can play on the ball. I think that's a really I think this is why I think I think if you brought in a Nate Caddy, right? Like say you tr you got Nate Caddy in the draft, that's an extra forward that is a medium sized forward, which Voss is indicating he wants great protection for Jack Martin. Yep. But this is what I wanted to do this for as well is see how hard it is now for Fisher. Dow, and Kennedy. Dow, Long. What, what, someone has to be a sub. It's probably Cottrell in this, with this lineup just for what he can bring in that burst role. Do you know what I mean? No, but I, I mean, th the thing is, right, Hollands is miles better than Cottrell on the wing because the way Voss works, his wings allow mm. Newman and Saad to be offensive. Cottrell's there. That means you lose the offensive stats of the others. So yeah. that's why I think Bins may usurp Cottrell. He's got the elite running power, but he's worked so hard defensively, which then you've got nine players that can rotate across half forward wing and defence. Yeah, huge. I like it, Pom. How fucking tough is this, though, chat? It's really tough. I'm um, I'm gonna have to jump out, Pom. Uh, but it's it's been bloody good. It's really tough, and I think that's the fun thing. And a couple of players might leave, a couple of players might come in, but it's gonna be, mate. Hey, chat. Round one next year after we won the flag. Geez, we're gonna be good. Chat. That was so fun. Do you know what I mean? That was so, so fun. But thank you very much, chat. Engagement has been brilliant. You've really helped us out. We love you to pieces. We'll see you next week. Go Blues. Go Blues.